Hi, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Aviv Yosef, advisor and consultant to Tech Execs Worldwide, and our subject today is complaints. Before I get to that, I'm reminding you two things. One, if you're listening to this in your ears, I am now in an experiment of some video stuff, so there's also a YouTube version that you can watch, and you can see me talking with my kids' pretty drawings behind me, so check that out. Second, in a week or two, I'm holding a free live session called Cracking Productivity about how to take your team to the next level, especially if you feel like you've been in a plateau for a while. It's free. If you sign up, you're going to get the recording, even if you can't attend, but I'm holding it in the same day in two different slots to increase the odds of you being able to be there live with me and ask questions live. So check it out. Again, it's free. And now let's talk about complaining. And boy, do I like complaining. I feel like for too long, that has been part of my sort of identity. And for some people, especially, and this is a theme that if you've been listening to me, you've heard me say, as you become more and more of a senior engineer, sometimes being that type who complains all the time becomes sort of an identity, something we expect that we have to do. That means that we're smart because we always have something bad that we notice. We're not just happy like all of those dumb people around us. I do not agree especially when we're looking at roles like you have, which are leadership positions. No one likes a leader that's constantly complaining. And today I want to talk about the mindset that you have to hold in order to be an effective leader. Because at the end of the day, a bunch of these complaints are stupid, useless, because, and they might even be detrimental because The best case scenario is you're just complaining, you're creating a bad atmosphere around you and you're being inactive. You're not not being proactive, not being reactive, you're just not doing anything. And it can get worse when essentially this thinking, this complaining for you eventually in your mind translates as this is what I'm supposed to do. This is me taking action. I complain, I raise the flag, but this is not what I expect leaders to do. I expect leaders to show actual action (laughs) and do something. So let's talk about what these complaints look like and why you need to shift your mindset and try and complain less. Stop bitching. I don't remember if I have the explicit sign on for the podcast. Anyway, now, complaints come in all sorts of different types. For example, Literally yesterday, I was talking to a business owner and he was complaining about the fact that he never has any time to do anything more strategic because he has to deal with the tactics. Guess what? It's your business, right? Who are you complaining to? Why is your business demanding so much of you when it comes to the day to day? And how are you enabling that? The same applies to so many of the CTO co-founders I work with. They complain about stuff like all the managers in the organization are not good enough. I have to be involved. And I'm like, "Uh, okay, let's look at what you just said. In this company where you are one of the founders, the managers who you hired are not good enough. Whose fault is that? Who hired them? Who's coaching them? Who's helping them become better at what they do. I'm starting to see something in common here. Yes, it's you. So stop complaining and do something about it. Are you hiring the wrong people? Are you not coaching them enough? Are you complaining about something that's actually what's to be expected? Next, maybe you're busy complaining about the fact that it's so hard to find good people nowadays. You know what? That's the case for essentially everyone else in the world. So complaining about that doesn't help at all. If you need to vent a bit, do that. But don't think that by complaining, you're saying, okay, are you, you know, what can I do? That's the, the way it is. If you're thinking that by complaining and whining about something, you're doing something other than just venting and getting re to handle it all over again, 
what you're going to end up doing is creating this sort of comfort zone where you're just complaining and throwing things out and never actually handling them. And yeah, hiring has been hard for everyone in the industry for years. It's probably not going to get a lot easier, at least until GPTs replace all of us. So in the meantime, you have to learn how to, ha how to actually hire people effectively or learn how to make do with a really small team or start going through outsourcing agencies or start hiring remotely. Hey, d did you just notice I haven't been even planning this and just like that, instead of making excuses, I started coming up with a bunch of different possibilities to solve the issue and not just remain stuck the way it was. So instead of just complaining, what should you do? We have two options. The one I prefer, like I just gave you now, a bunch of different ways of doing things, of saying, okay, that's the, that's the way the world is, but I'm going to try and find what I can do as someone effective and present here is Extreme Ownership, if you've ever read the book by Jocko Willink, which I recommend. And essentially, the thinking is everything is your responsibility to an extent of course you know asterisk but you have so much agency you have so much power try and find a way to do something and improve and usually there are so many yeah maybe your experience maybe your uh, motivation makes it hard for you to find a way to do that okay that's why sometimes people approach me for coaching advisory to help them find solutions and move faster that's fine however that by itself is also seeing that there are other possibilities you don't just need to have to complain you can say okay I'm gonna try and get some help be it from your peers be it from someone like me that's fine do something don't just sit there and moan and if you're sure that there's nothing you can do or at least nothing worth doing because the effort is going to take so much out of you it's not going to be worth it it's going to have a negative ROI etc etc if that's the case stop complaining accept it move on don't let it keep laying on you and drag you down because you start accumulating these things and you become this habitual complainer that always has in their bag a bunch of things to complain about and that you know not only is that not helping anyone you become someone who no one likes being around there's a VP of engineering who I know who has this reputation for what everyone that I know that knows the guy that he is a constant complainer as in don't start talking to him about anything because you will lose 30 minutes listening to him rant about something. And 80% of the time, those rants are complaining about the things that we all have to go through. It's not as if we're talking to someone who just had to lose his job, fire 95% of the team and they cannot get another round of financing and they just lose their house you know no 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 we're talking about someone just doing the same work you and I are doing and complaining about it non-stop when you get to that point when you become the complainer you might not realize that that's who you are but everyone else around you definitely do and when that's the case no one's going to want to talk to you you're going to find it harder to get employees you're going to find it harder to get your next job you're going to find it harder to just have a good time and again as i always say life's too short so stop complaining either do something and trust me you've got so much you can do like 90 percent of the time there's something active you can do and if you need help i'm here and i'm betting there are others around you who can help you or accept it and move on don't let it weigh you down stop being the complainer okay and i'm not gonna get into too much of a kumbaya but i'm also trying not to complain too much about stuff like politics etc because at the end of the day that doesn't help either i'm gonna say i'm gonna do something or i'm gonna accept it just complaining and moaning and bitching is not helping anyone around me and not helping myself okay i'd rather take the time and 
read another page in the book. So do that. That's it for this week. Thank you for joining me. As always, check out the newsletter, link in the show notes, where you can get this episode, an article, extra videos, a bunch of exclusive insights every week delivered to your inbox. And I'm reminding you, I have a free session coming up. Link in the show notes. Check it out. I'm waiting to see you there. Thank you. See you next week.